All right, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Stella, and today I'm going to be reacting to My Hero Academia Episode 1, Izuku Midoriya Origin. This is my first time ever watching My Hero Academia, so we are starting with the pilot. I am so, so, so excited to get into this. I know very little about the show outside of a few minute details, and I'm also pretty new to anime in general, which might seem a little strange considering we're on the anime channel, but my hope is that me being completely new to this and you guys probably being avid anime watchers, you may be able to kind of rediscover the joy of anime through me. Um, that's my hope, at least. Uh, what I do know about this show is that I'm assuming it takes place in a school setting, academia. Um, so an academic setting, but it also, I believe, takes place in a world where people have superpowers. They have very unique abilities called quirks. Um, and so each of our characters, I would assume, have kind of a different, unique ability that we're going to follow. Um, so yeah, honestly, with that as a descriptor, I'm already sold, but I don't really know anything about the plot. I don't really know any of the characters yet. I'm just excited to get into this. Um, as always, the full-length reaction of this episode is going to be up on our Patreon along with the next episode. So if you're interested and want to go check those out, please do support our channel in any way you can. We really appreciate it. Um, and if you're brand new and you've never been here before and never seen me, welcome. Uh, hopefully you enjoy your stay and enjoy it enough to consider joining being a part of our little family. Uh, we would really appreciate that and you are so welcome here. Without further ado, I'm just excited to get into this. So let's get started with My Hero Academia Episode 1, Izuku Midoriya Origin. <laughs> He's already <laughs> crying. We're two seconds in, someone's already crying. Dude! <laughs> You're bullying kids who are like five years younger than you. I don't know how much, but the kids who are younger than you and don't have superpowers? Like, that's not fair at all. This is like pick on someone your own size times two. Pick on someone your own size and someone who could actually stay on the ground against you. That's so mean. All men are not created equal. That's quite a statement. <laughs> I really like the music. It gives me like coming of age movie vibes. I have already seen the opening. I reacted to the opening for this season. So I'm excited just to hear the music during the the show. So this is Izuku. Oh, he's a cutie. I sure hope nothing bad ever happens to him. There we go. Here it is. So yeah, James and I reacted to the openings from My Hero Academia, and I really loved them. I thought they were super cool, and I remember this character, this big old guy with the funny hair. Um, no idea who he is, though. Excited to find out. So it looks like the superpowers are, like, very normalized in this world, just because there's a supervillain literally just on top of a, a station, like, and everyone's watching. It kind of gives me... I think more superhero movies are embracing the idea of like, well, what would it be like if superheroes existed in our world? Like everyone would be pulling their phones out to record like superhero battles and people would be tweeting at the superheroes and stuff like that. So I wonder if we're going to kind of get into that a little bit in this show. I'm remembering watching this, but I don't understand anything still. There are so many people. Not a chance I'm going to remember any of these people. So this is like new. This is not people have had superpowers forever. This is just like within recent memory. Oof, the poor 20% without that trait. Oh. <laughs> Being a superhero, that's what the profession is. Death arms! Death arms, the punching hero, is a fantastic superhero name. Sorry. I'm already in awe at some of these character designs. This guy's just like... He's got like... Fire... what are they called? Oh my goodness, fire hydrants coming out of his arms. 
Is he made of wood? So we have a rat man, we have strong punching man, we have guy made of wood, we have fire hydrant man. Kamui Woods. Loki, kind of relatable how much he's freaking out about this. I feel like that's me watching any of my favorite characters in anything. I am Groot over here. Oh, he, but he, he was doing fine on his own. Poor tree man. He could have done it on his own. Why'd you have to swoop in and steal his thunder? Oh, that was a booty. That's the other thing I'm not used to in anime is just a lot of bo booties and boobies, and I don't know that I'm, I'm ready for that yet. Oh, interesting. What a supportive man! Oh! Oh, poor kid. Katsuki. He's pretty high and mighty, isn't he? All Might. So All Might is that big guy we've been looking at. Don't call him out in front of everybody. Oh no. Why? That is so uncalled for. Yeah, but he's smart. Like, that's gotta count for something. I mean, I guess not. We all knew a kid like that in school who was just convinced that they were better than everybody else. I think he can help. Oh, is that All Might? The other thing that I'm gonna ask for constant help with in the comments is if you hear me mispronounce something, especially like names or Japanese words, um, just give me like a rough pronunciation reminder in the, the comments because I I don't know any Japanese. Like I am so unfamiliar with it. <laughs> No! <laughs> this kid's been bullying him since they were like five years old. That's awful. Yeah, I can tell you're a perfectionist. Why would you tell him not to apply though, unless you were worried about him getting in and you not being the only kid from this high school to get in? That's awful. Dude, that is such... That crosses a massive line. Oh, he's so tiny. <laughs> this was 100% me at like four years old with a massive desktop computer asking my mom to like log me in so I could play DVD ROM games. Here he comes. There's our man. I mean, he is carrying unconscious bodies. I don't know if it's the time to laugh yet. <laughs> this was me with Mr. Rogers as a kid. Oh. So it gets passed down genetically. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, he's still got the joint. <laughs> that poor little guy. He just wants to be like his hero. 
gosh, this is such an imbalanced world. Give him a big old hug. I would give him a big old hug. Oh. Yeah, agreed, but gosh, it must be hard to be the only person in a world full of magical superheroes. Slime monster? What does that mean? A medium sized invisibility cloak? Oh. oh, that's terrifying that he can do that. Come on, All Might. We need you, buddy. See, that's low key terrifying. Here he comes. Here's our man. He just coming from the grocery store. Not the Texas Smash. Sorry, I'm still cracking up over Texas Smash. I think that's a hilarious name. And now he's gonna get to meet his hero. Yay! Or maybe he'll he'll pass out. Never mind. Aw, what a bummer. He didn't get to meet his hero. Hey. <laughs> That's how I wake people up too. Aw, oh, it was his day off too. <laughs> He's in a soda bottle. He got them. Them pearly whites. <laughs> oh, this is so relatable. <laughs> is he just gonna he's just gonna fly away? Oh, he's stretching. <laughs> Bye, all might. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's horrifying. <laughs> yeah, hold on to him tightly. This kid has no super strength. His ability to not fall to his death counts on you. Shit. Is he bleeding? <laughs> that's my face the second I get off of any airplane. I hate flying. No! Don't give up. Just give it your best shot. If you don't say yes, I swear. How? Okay, so his narration is from the future. How far in the future is he narrating from? Because I assumed we were like starting here, but it sounds like he's he's retrospectively narrating. I want to sit through the whole outro too, just because, you know, good music and maybe some cool animation, maybe some cool clues. I'm going to start to chit chat though about my thoughts. Okay, I this is so up my alley. It's a little bit quirky. Pun intended. It's a little bit zany. Um, it's cute. I love it. It's so cute. Like, I'm sure it'll have its serious moments and its heartfelt moments. And it already has a little bit, but like, it's already got a lot of heart. And I love that in a show. Um, it does. I do think one of my favorite things for, for you know, uh, shows, movies, TV, books, whatever to address is the idea of like power imbalance between super people and regular people because superheroes have existed in, in TV and, and movies forever, right? But we're only really just starting to talk about like what the implications of that are for everybody else. You know, Marvel has started to do it and there are shows, you know, that I haven't seen like The Boys that the whole plot is, you know, what would superheroes be like if they existed for real? Um, and I think... Oh, is there's a next time? 
Okay. Next episode preview. Oh, no. No, it took a boy hostage. No, I might. You're strong. You got this. Oh, another hero. What it takes to be a hero. Go beyond. Plus ultra. <laughs> I don't know if we should be watching those, if they spoil anything for the next episode, but it's there, so I'm going to watch it. Oh my goodness! <gasps> A new superhero! Ah! I'm sorry, I'm already, like, geeking out over this. Um, okay, this is cute, it's quirky, it's zany, I love it, I really do. Um, but it's also, it's talking about something really cool that I love to talk about, which is, you know, what would it be like if there really was just a natural power imbalance between regular people and, and magic people. And I think I touched on this during my arcane reactions as well, which is like, well, if some people are just born with magic and some people aren't, like, that's scary for the people who aren't, right? It's like being born, you know, it's like being born tiny, right? Everyone else has just a massive advantage over you. They're bigger than you. They're stronger than you. They, you know have the ability to overpower you if they need to. That's spooky. Um, so I think that's really cool. I'm excited to see where that goes. Um, his enemy, I think Ka Kachan? I, well, I'm gonna make sure I, I look up how to pronounce characters' names as I'm going so that I'm not embarrassing myself by not remembering or not being able to pronounce them. But if there's something like you notice me continuously getting wrong, please, please, please uh, let me know in the comments. I'm also, I don't know, shows will do this, this thing a lot. This is a pretty common trope about, oh, this poor character has no abilities. He's not magic or he's not super, blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, a couple episodes in, whoops, turns out he did have a superpower the whole time. And like, that's always a fun trope. Like it works every time. It's not like it's a bad trope but it is also really nice to see characters be just human and use their 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 humanity and their lack of superpowers as an advantage and it is nice to see characters do that and i feel like i don't see that as much right the character always has to develop a superpower a power at some point and i think that kind of contradicts the idea of like well you don't have to be super to be special and so if, if a show tells me, oh, you don't have to be super to be special, but then in the end, the characters all end up getting superpowers anyway, and their superpowers are always, oh, whoa, you have the strongest superpower. Who would have guessed? Like, to me, it kind of undoes the whole you don't have to be super to be special thing, doesn't it? I don't know if anyone else gets that way, but I, uh, I do think the show would be really cool if he just stayed as a normal person and becomes a hero on his own. Um, however, I don't know if that's gonna happen because we already know that powers like run in his family and he's just kind of a weird genetic confuzzlement uh, that doesn't make a lot of sense. And he's got his both his toe joints, which is also a really interesting, just a really creative detail. Like, oh, well, some people when they're magic they don't need that joint anymore. So, like, what a what a neat little detail. So, anyways, I'm crazy excited to get into the next episode. I'm going to be watching a ton of these. I might just binge straight through as much as I can. But, as always, if you want to check out the full length reaction, that's going to be up on a Patreon along with episode two. So, if you'd like to see episode two a little bit early, um, yeah, go over there to check that out and support us however you can. Um, if you're brand new here, hope you enjoyed that. I really did. I'm excited to get on into it and please stick around for more. Um, yeah. So to everyone watching, I'll see you in episode two. Peace out.